Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, God, I thought I'd try something a little bit different and uh, record a voiceover um, to talk to you about what I did, my process, what I used, what I was thinking about while I was making this piece. Um, and plus everyone else is doing it. So. <laughs> um, and I've tried to record this about five or six times um, and it's just gone horrendously wrong. Um, I do not have a professional setup whatsoever. Um, and I have the cheapest microphone going and if I turn my head ever so slightly away from the microphone it just does not record any sound so if at any point it cuts out I do apologize if you can't hear me um, and while we're on the topic of uh, rubbish quality um, I only have a giant window as my source of light and towards the middle of this um, I was recording it as the sun was going down um, and so if the I tried to brighten it um, but if it does kind of get a bit desaturated or shadowy um, that's why I'm very sorry about that but let's get into what I'm actually drawing um, so as it's May and uh, Mermaid is a thing I thought I'd draw a mermaid. I don't do monthly kind of challenges um, purely because I don't keep up with them and it makes me feel guilty when I don't follow through and then I have this whole self-loathing thing that I set myself a challenge and I didn't finish it um, so I didn't I didn't bother this time because I knew I wouldn't do it. Um, but yeah, I am um, looking at this. Uh, I know my anatomy, uh, human anatomy, is uh, a little bit rubbish. But I've only just noticed how giant that right arm is. <laughs> um, so let's just uh, ignore that. Um, yeah, I, I am still learning. I'm by no means a professional. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I'm just drawing for the sake of enjoying it and um, learning along the way, uh, I'll get there, um, but I think by recognising your own kind of artistic flaws is the first step to improvement, so I have plenty of those. And talking about artistic flaws, let's talk about <laughs> the materials I use. Um, it's a mixed media piece with uh, markers starting off there um, as the base layer, and then I moved on to drawing inks for the background and then I also use some Prismacolor pencils as uh, just to sort of pick out details and highlights and such. Um, <laughs> I am pretty confident with Marco. Um, I'm quite happy using them. I'm very confident with Prismacolors. They're the first medium that I kind of got into. Drawing inks. I, <laughs> as you'll see, um, and clearly not very good at. Um, I uh, kind of treated them like watercolours, which I just assumed. I mean, I watched a few videos on them, not really tutorials, but just of people using them, and I just assumed they used them like watercolours. So I sort of diluted them with a little bit of water, and then I kind of mixed them, and then the more water you add, obviously the more diluted the um, pigment is. So I went ahead and just lopped it on I put a wash of just water on the page um, and you'll see how terrible that idea was because I'm not using a watercolor paper I'm using a mixed media pad um, so it's very uh, thin I guess in comparison to watercolor so the water didn't really soak in it just kind of pulled on the top and um, it's uh, it, 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 it kind of bled everywhere and I was quite proud of the mermaids colouring like at this point I, I you know I, I knew that I needed more shadows but I wanted to wait until I put the background in so I could establish where the darkest points were and when I placed the background um, it just bled into her skin it bled into um, 
just everywhere and it caused her to kind of have shadow where I didn't really want there to be shadow um, like on her right hip um, I kind of wanted the light source to be coming from the top right corner um, so it would make sense that that would be illuminated more so than the left side but um, it, it just turned blue so I had to kind of improvise and just kind of uh, darken it and I mean it doesn't look awful it just didn't go to my plan but um, anyway I mean I wanted it to have a dark kind of feel to it anyway I wanted the, the contrast of the jellyfish and the mermaid herself to kind of stand out against like a dark muddy black oh god who they come <laughs> um, uh, you'll see you'll see how horrendous this was and uh, I mean I, I I love using them I think it's so cool um, and I, I love watching artists use them properly when they just kind of bleed outwards and you know really nice patterns but I kind of let it bleed and then I kind of went over it with a brush for some reason um, I don't know why I did that but like here I was putting uh, just water down and look how cool that looks and then here I come um, and splished it together and apparently there's a giant cut there, I don't know what happened but um, and there's that, that big pool in the middle there um, that that just went horrendously wrong and it just kept the paper had warped there with the dampness and it just settled there and then it looks like a massive cloud underwater, I don't know um, but at the end of the day, you live and you learn <laughs> No, I mean it might it might just be down to the fact that I don't know what I'm doing. It might be down to the fact that the paper I used was not right. Um, I, I I don't know. There's me trying to clean it up. But it it looks worse. It's, <laughs> it just looks bad. It does not look good. Um, never mind. And then here I am going in with my uh, markers again, trying to counteract the ink, which it's not working. I went in with some cool markers and then um, I tried to blend it out with the original skin tone or the lighter skin tone that I used which was the uh, Winsor & Newton brush marker in satin um, just to kind of blend it and lighten it up a little bit but um, unfortunately the drawing ink is waterproof so it was not going to budge. So I kind of gave up and at this point I grabbed my prisoners and I just went in and added the details um, so I mean I tried to go over that left arm with the prisoners as well um, but I think I had damaged the point the paper at this point um, and I don't know if it was because I had used a ton of the marker ink on it and then I used the well, I didn't use drawing ink on it but you know what I mean it kind of bled into it and also the paper might have still been a little bit damp. I, I don't I thought I let it dry, but it just wasn't layering on that arm in particular. So I tried to lighten it, but it didn't work. Um, so I admitted defeat and just went on to the rest of her body. Um, added a few scales. I don't like them. Don't know why I did it, but they're there now. So yeah. <laughs> um, let, let's, be, let's be nice to myself. Let's talk about what I think I did well. Um, I think her hair looks quite nice. Um, maybe needs a little bit more movement in it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? When you can only think of one thing that you're proud of in a piece. Um, I don't know. The jellyfish look okay. Um, I've definitely done better. Um, I think at the point where I realised that I ruined it with the inks. Um, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing because my big old head is in the way. Um, the ink kind of bled over a few of their little tentacles, and I couldn't I couldn't draw on top of them. Uh, I don't know again if it was just because the ink was still slightly damp, or if it was just because you can't draw over them with prisoners. I don't know. Um, just. I mean the bot the very bottom left one I'm, I quite like. He, he, he's my favourite. But like I said, I am by no means a professional. 
I am still learning. I've only really been drawing properly for, I don't know, about two years, three years, if that. So considering what my first pieces were, like my, I had absolutely like no human anatomy skills whatsoever. And even though they're still quite poor um, compared to what they were, um, it, 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 it's gotten better. It's just don't look at that right arm uh, ever. <laughs> but no, um, I will um, admit where I am not as skilled and I will work on it. Um, I definitely prefer drawing animals though, that's that's where my strong point is. Um, I want to get better with, with humans just because they're more um, kind of desired in the illustration world I guess. Um, I don't know. I went in with some gel pens uh, there just to kind of, I, I went in with a white beauty rule sig, no is that what it's called? Um, broad gel pen there just to bring out the highlights in the jellyfish to give them a kind of I guess see-through appearance or kind of shiny I don't know um or that and then I went in with some colors to kind of bring out the tentacles and it failed but uh, there's the, the finished piece um <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!